boom, you've built this massive library of music that you like. And maybe now, you know, you're just trying to fine tune them into a, you know, a group of songs, a nice little playlist, right? Or maybe you're trying to impress someone that you're interested in. Whatever the reason, whatever the occasion, the point is you're trying to make a fire ass playlist. And after watching this video, I think you'll find yourself extremely inspired to go into your library and see what you can pull out of it. My name is Steven Garzon. You might know me as Faction or you might not know me at all. I've been running a playlist that adapts every single week with new tracks and new artwork for the past year and a half. It's called Faction's Mixtape and I'm really proud of it. Now, today we're going to be going into the psychology and really the art of playlisting. That's the title, by the way. Let's start with what we already know. I feel like music can have a huge impact on a person's mood, their thought process, their ability to deal with emotions, and not just heavy ones like grief, but also positive emotions like being overjoyed. For example, you ever been in a good mood for whatever reason and then the right song comes on? You impulsively, literally can't help yourself but to start screaming along to the lyrics in hype. Shout out my label, that's me. Or get up and start dancing. I got love most of us already know that though, and it's because we've experienced it ourselves. But today, we're going to be getting into not only how you can manipulate and amplify those emotions, but also how to bring those feelings out continuously throughout multiple songs. Now, that fancy ass sentence was all to say this. Having a proper flow between each of your songs is what separates a playlist that you threw together from a curated playlist. A curated playlist that you might know of would be something like Rap Caviar. Now why the air quotes, Fection? Are you taking a jab at Spotify? Yeah, I am. Now this isn't specifically to only them, but a lot of these curated playlists like Rap Caviar are really just grabbing whatever songs recently dropped and putting them in order, top down, my most popular artist. And of course, when you do that, there's going to be very little care or attention to how one song leads into the next. All right, we've been talking for long enough. Let's get into what is the real game changer and what is going to make your playlist flow. So everything that I've said this whole time about having flow between your songs could be summed up by that one word. Leading the end of one song into the beginning of another will help alleviate the abruptness of going from a crazy hype and fast song into a slow, 808 list ballad. That is not to say that you can't have those two tracks in the same playlist, but if track A has a hard time leaning into track B, then you should probably move track B to like F and fill in those gaps with a gradual shift. Back to the main point, I've prepared a great lineup of different transitions that you can and should look out for in your own library. This is one of my favorites. Instant Rage. This is when you go from a slower song to something that's immediately turned. Track A doesn't necessarily have to be a slow song, uh, just slower than track B. This next one, you really want to keep an eye out for it. This is the slow down speed up. It's pretty much when you have a lit song that has one of those endies where they like gradually get slower and then you immediately follow it up with a kick or a beat drop from track B. Your body drive me crazy Your body need a license fit Your body are too tight and neat Anybody who got eyes can see She just wanna dance and tease She just wanna dance and tease me 
pretty good, right? All right, let's go into the next transition. I call this one Vibes to Vibes. Uh, honestly, I couldn't think of a better name, but it's when you go from one song to the next while maintaining the energy, even if, especially if, actually, they're completely different genres. Quick note here, 16, definitely my favorite Keem song and it has to be in my top five songs this year. This is what I like to call the get up and dance. It's when you have a weird ending of one song and then you immediately follow it up with a funky ass beat. Like it kind of reminds me of like that scenario in the club where you're like, eh, it's not really my song. You're just like sitting down and then this happens and you're just like, I gotta go. Next one is called the slowdown and it's very very simple um, and because it's so simple you're going to find yourself using it very often it's mostly just about matching a slow ending to a slow beginning Hi, lol to the bank no joke you run up on me you leaping froggy you get croaked uh, <laughs> you know Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, nigga, we, we came up, nigga. We ain't going back, back and forth with you suckers, you know? Nine times out of ten, niggas know I was gonna win. Nine times out of ten, I was gonna get a bit. Nine times out of ten, I'ma come and get revenge. Nine times out of ten, I'm probably sin again. Watch you do that, nigga. Is it simple? Yeah. Is it effective, though? Also, yeah. Now, this one, I like to call the lit switch. It's when you take a song from one genre and lead it into a different genre, but you maintain the same hype level. That one right there, honestly, that one might be my favorite of the bunch. Now this next one, I think you're going to be extremely overjoyed if and when you find it in your own library. I call it, is that the same? Blank. And you'll fill the blank based on the songs that you chose. In this case, it's, is that the same guitar? I'm so glad it's me. Pulling those off just scratches the right part of my brain. This next one is a bit rare, but I think it's still pretty cool nonetheless. And I like to call it weird, but effective. It's when track B has like a sound effect or something like that that helps you transition seamlessly from track A. I would love, there'll be 
an honor for me to welcome you to Demon High. Come on, don't tell me that wasn't clean. Like I said, it's pretty rare, but definitely keep an ear out for it. What I'm going to show you next is actually a three song transition. Now, I call it the dip and I personally use it to incorporate a really slow song into a playlist without it being jarring. You go from track A, a more energetic song, to track B, the slowest song of the three, and then follow it up with track C, which starts out slow, but gradually becomes faster. Sounds complex until you hear it. For this one, I'm gonna actually talk us through it. So we start off with London, which is pretty upbeat for an R&B song. We then use the slow ending of London to lead us into Day Before, which doesn't have a kick or a snare in the whole song. I'm at the London with my bros and we pouring up. What it does have though is this amazing Mac Villa verse. Take your ass home if it ain't another million, I ain't picking up the phone. Phony motherfuckers always sitting on the throne. All I want some pussy, baby, give a dog a bone. Yeah, yeah. I don't need a lot, but I got a lot. And when that's over, it's time to bring the vibes back up so we can get out of the dip. Now, track C comes on, PC of your mind, and it starts slow, but it gradually picks the pace back up. At this point, we can play whatever we want pretty much. Also, the opposite of that could be done. It'd just be the rip where you go up and then come back down. Maybe at the top you have like a Playboy Cardi song that's like super crazy lit and then you want to come back down to like a more uh, manageable pace. All right, now before you go, here's some general tips. Number one, okay, do not sweat it if every song on your playlist doesn't perfectly transition into the next. That's normal. You're combining tons of songs from tons of different artists and probably different genres. Just making the smallest effort will make a massive difference. Two, turn off crossfade if you're on Spotify, okay? That way you'll have much more control over when songs end and start. Three, while we're on the subject of streaming services, I have all of them. And I can tell you right now, Apple Music by far offers the best sound. And if you're using things like spatial audio, make sure to set the head tracking to fixed for the best experience with music. And make sure you turn off spatialized stereo so that you only hear spatial audio for things that were mixed for spatial audio. Four, every transition you heard here first came out on my own playlist. It's called Fections Mixtape, it changes every single week, and it's down in the description. And five, if you're not already, make sure that you're subscribed and leave a comment as to maybe what your favorite transition was, or maybe something that you came up with on your own. Um, either way, I hope that you learned something about the art of playlisting. I hope you liked the video, and I hope that you have a great day. Happy playlisting.